Praise the Lord. Shalom. Welcome, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We made it back to another Thirsty Thursday. And I'm your host, Reverend Dr. Etta Anderson. It is so good to be seen by you again today. It's so good to have you with me today. We're getting ready to go into a word, a word that I believe is pertinent for you and for me. But before we launch out into the deep, why don't you go with me to the Father in prayer? Lord, thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for granting us the privilege to be able to gather again, to quench our thirst with another thirsty Thursday. What we ask now, speak Abba, your children are listening. In Jesus' name we pray, hallelujah and amen. Amen. Today, I want to uh, talk for a few moments from the word uh, from Exodus, Exodus chapter 17. And I'm going to be reading a few verses from um, the New Living Translation and beginning there at verse number, um, number 10, verse number 10. So Joshua did what Moses had commanded. He led his men out to fight the army of Amalek. Meanwhile, Moses, Aaron, and Ur went to the top of a nearby hill. As long as Moses held up the staff with his hands, the Israelites had the advantage. But whenever he lowered his hands, yeah, you know what I'm getting ready to say. The enemy, Amalek, began they gained the upper hand. Moses' arms finally became too tired to hold up the staff any longer. So Aaron and Ur found a stone for him to sit it on. Then they stood on each side, holding up his hands until sunset. And this 13th verse says, as a result, Joshua and his troops were able to crush the army of Amalek. I was contemplating. I don't know how you all have been feeling here uh, lately, but it seems like there's war going on all around me. There's war going on within me, spiritual war. I, I find myself in a battle, seems like, all of the time. When we look uh, in this world that we're in, we see uh, and hear so much with the war with uh, Russia and Ukraine and all of the ways that uh, our country is involved in and in, in getting involved and in taking initiative in this thing. And as I've been seeking the Lord and I've been talking to the Lord about the things that's going on, he led me, God led me here to this Exodus chapter 17, beginning there uh, in that 10th verse. But he also took me to Psalms 144 
And I just want to read this one verse in Psalms 144 and one. It says, blessed be the Lord, my strength, which leadeth, teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. A word for someone. Yes, you are in spiritual warfare. You're in a spiritual battle right now. But nonetheless, you don't have any reason to worry <laughs> because God himself is teaching your hands to war and your fingers to fight. We got to come out of the stupor that we've been in for so long. We've just been standing on the battle is not mine. It belongs to the Lord. That, while yet this is true, he said, you still have to be engaged in this thing. So I'm teaching, oh, <laughs> I'm teaching your, your hands to war and your fingers to fight. But you have a guaranteed victory if you take note. And you use the strategy that Moses, Aaron, and Er worked out together. Yeah, there was a strategy, a plan, a, a, a battle tactic that was uh, initiated here. What we need to do we need to learn how to go in our prayer closets. But every prayer closet that you go into, you do not have to go in alone. Hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. Because the things that you're going through is not just affecting you. It's affecting those that are around you. So you need to come into a strategy together to learn how to go into battle together. We need to be more like Moses and go up to the high place in Christ Jesus. You, you can't stay low. You got to go high. Yeah, you got to go up high, a place of, of power. Because, see, you're fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places. So you, 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 can't, you can't stay low. You got to go high and you got to go above what's attacking you. You got to go above the minions that have been sent against you. You got to go, you got to go higher than the spirit of frustration that keeps you at a low level where you can't get your breakthrough. You can't receive your breakthrough because you're so frustrated that you can't even lift your hands and praise unto God. You, 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 you can't even lift your arms, amen, lift them high. Amen. So that you can wave your hands. Amen. This is how you're going to win every spiritual battle that you're in by first going high, getting into the presence of the Lord. Oh, somebody here what I'm saying to you today. I, I, I think that it's time that you be, 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 became, began to be engaged in warfare and learn warfare tactics. God is calling you to a higher place. He's wooing you up higher. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places that's trying to keep you low and out of the presence of God. Yes, God sees you. God knows where you are, but you, your mindset, your heart is not going up to the high place 
into the presence of God. You're staying down low, continuing to complain and cry about the hurt, the pain, the sorrows that you're facing. God says, I want you to rise above those situations. I want you to rise above those circumstances. I want you to come on up higher to where I am. God is inviting you with every war, every spiritual battle that you are fighting that comes your way. God is inviting you to come up higher with that thing. Get in his presence. In his presence is the fullness of joy. He has peace for you. He wants to give you beauty for ashes, but it requires that you come up higher. Come into the presence of God. It is God and God alone who can eradicate every issue every problem in your life he can give you the strategy he will give you his word that you speak out of your mouth to tear down every stronghold that's holding you in bondage that's holding your family in bondage that's holding your finances in bondage that's holding your peace in bondage that's holding your joy in bondage even holding your kindness in bondage. What do I mean by that? You, you, you act as mean as a hornet's nest because things are not going the way that you had hoped or planned for it to go. And instead of you being kind and showing kindness to others, you're showing them your vulnerability by being mean and nasty. You're showing them just how vulnerable you are in your, in your humanness when you're not operating in the spirit of the Lord, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and you're being mean and nasty. You're acting mean and nasty when God has a new life for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The light just popped on for somebody. You, you get, you're getting an understanding of what I'm saying. So today, I wanted you, as a child of God, stop begging Abba, Abba Father, to do these things for you, to give you these things. But receive what he has for you. Trust what he's calling you to do. Trust the process that he's taking you through to grow you. Because victory belongs to you. But in order for you to enjoy and walk in the victory, you have to grow up. When I say grow up, grow up into the Bible, into his presence into his holiness. I wanted to stop by and encourage somebody with this word today and release this strategy to you. How to watch, fight, and pray. Yes, it's praying time, it's fighting time. You're fighting with, your, with, with, with the tool of your prayers. Your prayers, praying in the spirit, praying the word of God. This is how you're guaranteed to win, win every battle. Praising God, worshiping God. When he leads you to pray in another spirit, when he leads you with a new spiritual song that you are praying in the spirit, Seeing your prayers in the spirit. Oh, come on now. Don't leave me out here by myself. Grab hold to what I'm saying to you. 
This is between you and Abba Father. Daddy gives you some time, some time alone with him. And he teaches you some things. He takes you some places. Don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Because you know your father is not going to drop you. You know that our father, he got you. He's holding you. He's holding you close. What happened here in um, Exodus 17? Just to give you a, a, a short synopsis, Joshua trusted what Moses, the strategy that Moses told him. You go and find your team. So somebody hear me today, find your prayer team. Get together with them. And as your pastor, leads you and tells you what you should do in the spirit of the Lord. Trust that your pastor is hearing from God. That God is not leading you in, into dark places where he won't be with you. God's got you. I'm not, I, I, I can't say it any other way. He's got you, baby boy, baby girl. He's not leading you somewhere to get your honey kicked. He's leading you somewhere where you're going to kick some honey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. You are on the winning team. You will not be a casualty in this battle. So roll up your sleeves. Put on the whole helmet. The armor of God put on your helmet of salvation. Got that breastplate of righteousness. Are your loins girded with truth? You know what I'm talking about. Come on. Don't act like you don't know. But the thing is, I'm, I'm here to tell you this. You've been going, into, going in, 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 in circles. It seems like just going round and around. But God said this time, you coming out and you coming out with the victory. It belongs to you because you are on the Lord's side. So don't let a spirit of frustration antagonize you any longer. The joy of the Lord is your strength. You got this. We got this. So hold your head up. Sing praises unto the Lord. Walk in victory in Jesus' holy name. I got to go now, but I want to say praise God that I was able to uh, get with you one more time. Amen. That we could talk this thing out. Amen. That God, you have that, that in your heart and in your mind. You remember God is on your side. If God be for you, he's more than the world against you. Keep praying for this world that we live in, that God's glory mm, may be shown in the dark and dismal places. I love you. I love you. I love you. I got to go. But hey, I, I want to ask you, if you have not had an opportunity, please subscribe to the channel. Um, not only just subscribe to the channel, but I want you to be able to leave your comments. Amen. And, and, and I want you to share this video with others. Because guess what? Time is winding up. I'm trying to get everybody saved that want to be saved. It's not God's will that anyone should perish, but that all should come into repentance. And I pray that something is said in this video that's going to make a difference in the lives of those who watch it. So blessings be unto you. May God keep you until we meet again. Not my will be done, but God's will be done in your life. Lord, bless the one that's watching this video right now. Now, bless them in their uprising and their downsetting. Bless them in their coming in and their going out. 
seal them in power of Holy Ghost. Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Pray to see you all next week. Blessings. Bye-bye.